Now if you see here the problem that we have solved involved only one differential equation. What if we have system of differential equation? Like we have more than one differential equation. Okay. How are we going to solve that using Euler's method? So again it's very easy. You don't have to worry. Okay. Let me write down the the problem here and then we can start solving this. So let us say we have a problem. So these are the two differential equations they have given. So understand one thing. The, in the previous problem, if you see, there was only one differential equation. Okay. What if we have n number of differential equations? Okay. So again, the method remains the same. The only thing is, if it, there is there are n differential equation, you'll have to use your software. But I think if if you are, if it is just two differential equations, you can easily solve it. So these are two differential equation. These are coupled differential equation. If you see here, the value of y comes on both the sides. So this is coupled. Okay, one 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 value depends on other and other other equation, and other value depends on the other equation. That is known as coupled. So this is the problem. It says use Euler's method and uh, they have also given over range obviously they should provide a range and step size 0.1 this is also something that they need to provide and they have given us two initial conditions one for y and other for z. Obviously, there has to be since there are two differential equations, there has to be two initial condition. Again, the idea remains the same. The only thing here that you need to understand is we have two differential equations. So this is function of t n y, and this is function of y n z. Okay. So if you want to write down Euler's formula for this one, what you are going to write down? Yi plus 1 is equal to Yi plus the slope. What is the slope? This is the slope. That is, this is the slope. And this is the equation. So the slope is F Ti Yi into H, where H is the step size. For this, the difference, uh, the Euler's equation is going to be. So if you see z is present instead of y. So z i plus one is equal to z i plus f y i z i into h. Okay. So let's start solving this problem. So to find out y plus 1, you need yi, you need this, you already have step size. To find out z, you need zi, you need this. So again, what we are going to do is I'll follow a tabular technique. I'll say this is ti, this is yi. This is the slope This is yi plus 1 This is zi Okay, so this was This whole thing is for the first equation Okay, now the next thing that we are going to write here is going to be for the second equation So the next thing that we are going to need is y i z i z i plus f 
Okay. So what is the domain here? From 0 to 0 0.4 and what is the step size? 0 0.1. So you are going to write down, you will start from 0 then the next point is going to be at the step size that is 0 0.1 next point is going to be 0 0.2 next point is going to be the next point is going to be 0 0.4 okay. so we know at t is equal to 0 what is the value of i at t is equal to 0 the value of y is nothing but 2 so this is going to be 2 we also know from the second initial condition at t is equal to 0 what is the value of z s it is nothing but 4 so what we want is we want to find out the slope that is function of ti y i then y i plus 1 then function of y i z i and z i plus 1 so let us write down those functions here I'm sorry I have a habit of writing X sorry so this is ti yi this is going to be 2 if you want let let us write down replace it by yi pi e raised to minus ti and the next function is going to be y i z i okay it's going to be y i z i square divided by 2 so now what you're going to do here is we know the value of t i we know the value of y i substitute this value in this equation and you'll find out the value of f t i y i that is slow for the first differential equation is 2.1 then what you are going to do is you are going to substitute this value this value this value in this equation as we did for the previous problem and you will find out the value that you are getting is 2.1 so again the value of zi and yi you are going to substitute in this equation and you will realize the value that you are getting is nothing but minus 16 so again this value this value this value understand you have to take yi not yi plus 1 don't make this mistake so zi yi y and what you are going to do is you are going to substitute in this equation and you will get the value of 2.4 okay okay now for the next iteration yi yi plus 1 becomes your yi your zi plus 1 becomes your zi so again if you substitute the equation if you substitute these values you'll find out the value that you are getting here is 0 0.324187 and yi zi is minus 6.048 this is 1.79 okay again for the next iteration this this becomes your zi this becomes your yi again substitute this in the equations You'll get these values. 
so the this value will come here so this is going to be the final value this is going to be the final value so what we wanted is this that we have already got we wanted this that we have already got so I hope you have understood how to solve a system of uh, first order differential equations using Euler's method.